Every license offices across the state will be shut down again tomorrow, at least through noon. Uh-oh, it is because of a system update that didn't go as planned. It's been going on for days now, and as KXAN's Nabil Ramadna reports, people waiting to get a license are just about fed up. Person. It's a bummer. After person. We got a loss today for my work. Upset after they couldn't get a new license at the North Austin Driver's License Office. We waited, and then they came out at 8 o'clock and said no. no. Still down. Driver's license offices across the state had planned to close Friday through Labor Day weekend for a system update. But through Tuesday and Wednesday, the issues had not been resolved. I want to get a job with the school district. I'm retired for my grandkids over there. Drive them to school, but I can't even get a license to start that process. The upgrade is impacting all driver license services, including renewing or replacing a driver license or identification card, obtaining a driver record and verifying eligibility. That's why we moved from California because they had such a dysfunctional system over there. <laughs> so now we're in Texas with another dysfunctional system. Joe Wright says besides the current issues, it takes too long to get a new license. He's been waiting months to get his. After hearing about the issues, we went to the DPS website to see just how long it would take to schedule a driver's license appointment. For the Austin offices, the first available appointment is in November, but the Pflugerville and Georgetown offices have waits until December. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Now the department tells us they've been contacting impacted customers in order to try to give them priority for rescheduling a new appointment. And looking in depth on this, another computer system problem in late June it took down DMV systems. That included county tax offices and other registration renewal locations. And before that in April there was an issue with vehicle inspection systems.